you know my swagger right make sure you check out my ep it's called the detour it's liddy again some sand shout out the hip-hop guru we lit some sand the interview fire you already know that my guys and all Grah. My name's Alex. You're watching the Hip Hop Guru. Today we have a special guest, Swagger. Right? How you be, man? I'm good, man. Yourself? Pretty good, man. Thank you. You know, with Thanks, a lot man. of artists, a lot of people have some special stories, but your story is very unique, where not a lot of people would even know. But tell tell the people how you started in the business and how your story is a bit different than other people. Well, you know, um. I came up doing a lot of things um, growing up. You know, a lot of people don't know. I, I got I got many talents, you know, I'm a man of many talents. You know, um, when I was growing up, I used to dance. I was signed to um, Maximus. Back in the days, um, Maximus was owned by uh, Director X. Yeah. Back then, we used to call him, we used to call him Little X, but now they call him Director X, you know what I mean? Because he's doing it big now, you feel me? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we went by um, a group named called Ready PG. Um, we did a lot of, like, big shows. Um, the first vi the first music video I was actually in was um, Rihanna upon the Replay. Yeah. Um, that was when Jay-Z had just signed Rihanna, you know? Like, it, it was crazy. That's pretty epic, um, seeing how far she went now, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And, you know, just branching off, you know, playing ball and then coming to these times where I'm rapping. Um, I've only been rapping for like what? Mm, I want to say I've been rapping forever, but I've been taking it serious for like two years now, two and a half years, basically. You know what I mean? Um, how that came about, I'll just, you know, dibble and dabble and everybody's doing music. You know what I mean? And one day I must have seen something on World Star and it was like a, a Toronto rapper and I'm not gonna lie, his record was garbage, you know? And I was just like, yo, I could do this. Like this guy's embarrassing the whole city. Like, cause I read the comments on on World Star and they were like trashing him. They're like, oh, Toronto, you culture vultures, all this craziness. Oh, you guys always copy America. And I'm like, bro, they little do they know, like, there's a lot of people out here that has mass swag, including me. Not, myself you see what i'm saying so you know I, I started to do it like i started going to um studio with my cousin shaw you know he's like over your reps up see what i'm saying and yeah. he, he's, he's like a, i don't know if you know shaw hustle you ever, you ever heard of shaw hustle uh no but i'm definitely gonna look into it yeah 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 you definitely need to he's actually in toronto he's like the underground king like definitely a lot of people came off of his sauce including myself see what i'm saying so um yeah, I was just rolling around with him and, like, just getting inspired. You know, he's bringing me to Drake parties and, you know, with the OVO and Reps Up guys and just seeing, like, a lot of people just just excelling. See what I'm saying? So it was very mm -hmm. motivational for me. So I just started dropping. And I'm not going to lie, when I first came out, um, a lot of people didn't think I was from Canada. Like, they never knew. Mm -hmm. Like, you know? Yeah, I had... I, I had people hit me up like, oh, yeah, where are you from? And I'm like, I'm like, Toronto. They're like, oh, you from the city? They're like, yo, a, a person from New York sent me your music. Like, I, you don't sound like anybody from, that's from here, you know? Yeah, that's so, the style. As that started, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, so I started dropping, you know, words started getting out. And then um, um, one of my friends had introduced me to Troy Crossfield. You know, um, that's my manager now. Um, you know, Troy was Troy was just out there to work, like you know. What I mean, he, he's telling me like, yeah, he's gonna send my music out. He must have sent my music out to a couple of labels in the states. Um, RCA was the first, was like, yeah, one of the first people to like get like. I don't know if you know him. His name's Kirk Lightburn. He don't he don't work there no more. I think he works for Three Hundred now. Okay. Um, yeah, he he's like he was like the head A and R there at the time. Um. So he was playing my music and the Memphis hits walked in on him, you know? Mm. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, you know what I mean? Uh, Memphis hits, he, he, he's actually legendary. You know, um, 
he used to work for um, a guy named Barry Wise. Like Barry Wise is like owner of like um records records co. See what I'm yeah. saying he signed guys like um Chris Brown, a whole lot of them. He got 24k gold, a whole lot. Like he just has from from back then till now, he just has a whole roster. Too hard to go through. But yeah, he's a great guy. Um yeah, Memphis Hits was like, yo, this kid's dope. Where's he from? Whatever, you know what I mean? And then dude was telling him, like, yo, this this guy's from Canada, you know what I mean? He's the next thing type shit. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So Memphis was like, yo, I, I want to take this guy's music and send it off to a couple of people. And then that's how everything really happened. You know, he went to a couple of meetings and a lot of people were like messing with my records, you know? And then, yeah, records and Columbia Records and Sony Music Canada got together and they, they did a deal with me, right? An independent deal. So, so I'm saying it kind of happened pretty quick. You know what I mean? I'm not going to lie, to be honest. Yeah, that, that's honestly what makes you so unique to different artists from Toronto too, right? Because it's not the yeah. traditional sound. It's different mm. and it has its own sound. It's like it's, it's like you're kind of... You're you're merging the Toronto with the trap sound and all that. So exactly, you, all, you also have like the R&B record as well, like the new song "Drugs in Love" with Roy Wood. Oh. What was your direction with that, and kind of going away from that trap sound and going to more towards the pop sound? What was the direction with all that? I wanted to teach. You know, there's a lot of artists out there that are confused in, in life. You know, what I mean, I'm here to change that. So I'm saying because. There's a lot of guys that are so talented that they could do other things, but they don't because they feel like the crowd that listens to them or the crowd that they're around, they don't want to bring out those extra talents. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. me, I have it all. Like I, like I said, I, I grew up doing everything. Like put me in a room, wherever. I could, I could sell sand to a beach. I'm just a hustler. And I just, I just, I'm just good at anything I, I put my hands on. So one of the things that I wanted to do, I don't, when I, when I did music, I told myself, I'm not going to just be stuck like a lot of these artists. I want to branch off. I want to do every brand. I mean, every genre of music. I want to challenge yeah. myself. So these, this is what I'm doing now. I'm just challenging myself and I'm breaking barriers, you know? Um, Jugs and Love's going up right now. So I'm saying it, it's lit. Yeah. A lot of people have been, been hitting me up like, yo, a lot, a lot of like industry, a lot of industry people been hitting me up like, yo, the new video is fire. So it that told me something, you know? Because when I dropped this, I'm like, yeah. You know, some of my listeners are going to be like, yo, you know what I mean? It's not the regular trap swag, but, you know, but I, I knew a lot of people will, will, will fuck with it. Sim Stan, and, and they did. So it just told me like, yo, I, I did the right thing and I'm going to continue on doing the right thing because I got a whole lot. I have a whole lot of different music, bro. Like I got rock music, pop music, R&B, rap. I got every, you know what I mean? Like, to be honest, I asked my manager this. I was like, yo. Can I be two people? Like, can I just change? Like, can I be swagger, right? And then, like, an anonymous artist that, like, never shows their face. And, and they're like, oh, you can't do that because that'll be, like, a conflict type shit. You know what I'm yeah. But to be honest, like, if I drop certain music, a lot of people wouldn't even know it's me if I didn't put it out as swagger, right? Okay. You know, because even Drugs and Love, a, a lot of people didn't know I could really do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah, man. I like that, man, honestly, because it, it opens up the boundaries and all that. And then what you're able to do going forward, it's it's on and showing your ability as well. Some people don't know that you're able to do that. And it yeah. shows your artistry on another level. Another thing I like as well with your music videos is that a lot of the stuff is like a movie, right? And, and with uh, this one, it was like yeah. it was like you're listening to the music, but you're also watching a film. Watching, yeah. Everything is cinematic for us, man. Yeah. Um I, I want people to understand the visuals. You know, we don't just want to like make a song then just throw a random visual out. We we got to make people understand the song because even like even Roy's manager, let me put it out there. Um, Roy's manager loved the song, but not as much as he did when he seen the video. He's like, okay, like you know, I get ah, this. Is, I like the I like the song even more now because you know the video clicks to it. So I'm saying, and I understand it more. You see Absolutely. what I'm saying? So it's all about just um like creating that right that right picture for the for the story. So I'm oh, saying yeah. it's so important music videos, man. Like it, it can make a song a lot better as well. And then like once you watch the music video, you have even more appreciation for the song as well. Yes, exactly. Most definitely, man. 
So uh, one thing I wanted to ask you is like, if you, who are your music influencers to create your sound that you have now? I got a lot. Like, I'm out of all the artists because I watch a lot of interviews and like. Some I, I don't blame certain artists, you know what I mean? Like, what you listen to is what you listen to. But I actually took the time to, like, go back in time, you know? I'm, I'm a real music head uh, to listen to the, the music before my time. And it didn't matter which genre it was, you know what I mean? If mm -hmm. I heard about something, I, I, you know what I mean? I would Google it or I'd just look up, like, 80s music, 70s music. And, like, I've, I've been listening to, like, certain stuff like Lisa Lisa, Take me home. Like, you, you never heard about Lisa Lisa Take Me Home? No. I wonder if you take me home. Oh, that, that, yeah. What's good? You still be in love? That song, you know what I mean? Oh, but yeah. that song's hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, like, man, we could go deep. Like, KRS One's, Marvin Gaye's, the Michael Jackson's, the Elvis's, the, so I'm saying, to like, to like rock. And, like, my time, I was listening to, like, Mariana's Trench and, like, I think was it Green Day? Or Green Day, yeah. no? Green Day. Um, yeah, a lot of those stuff like Kiss and like then then the Drake eras, Party Next Doors, The Weekends. Um, Gucci Man is like my favorite trap artist of all time. Like he's he's like number. I I have like three artists that I put at number one as far as Gucci Man is Drake and it's The Weekend. <laughs> That's it. No cap. I I can't like. There's no. There's no place for them. They're just number one to me. See what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. I just came up off all those old school rock hymns and see what I'm saying? The 50s. Like, it's too much for me to even, like, I listen to everything. See what I'm saying? So, yeah, all my styles are, like, mixed with everything that I've listened to. So, I could do, like, anything from old school music to new school. Or I could just take both and mix it in one and you, you just don't won't know where i got it from you know yeah. what i mean that's just me i like to be creative so yeah so with that in mind if you were to be able to work with one person you haven't worked with yet who would it be shit man why you gotta say one you should have just said three so i could tell you the three right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> you know the now, you, you, well, you would know the three because they're my top artists but yeah now I'll, I'll, I'll answer that the the one i'll to be honest i'll do a song my feature that I want the most is like the Drake feature mm -hmm. because he just dope on any and everything. So it's like, you know, when it doesn't matter what you give to that man, because I'm confident if I gave a song to him to, to do a feature on, it'll be fire as fuck. But you just, I, I wouldn't be surprised what he does to it type shit because the nigga could do anything. Like, I don't know, man. He like, that's why I get the anything I could do is from these type of people like the Drakes and stuff because he 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 was breaking barriers with with the the melodies to the to the rapping. You get what I mean? Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, that that's one of, that's what I'm following up on. That's what kind of inspired me to do what I'm doing now too. That's big. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, um, would you rather have the R and B side of Drake or like the rapping side of Drake on the song that you? I don't care. What side? Whatever it is, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm a Drake fan. I like, I like, I like fucking everything he does. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. Now I don't have like I don't I don't think there's one song Drake dropped that I was like, ah, uh, you know, all of them was fire. All hits, no misses. Yeah, and then he shouted out the hood too, so it's like ah. Uh, one one thing that I always like to ask is, uh, if you were to give some advice to new artists, or if you were to go back and give yourself advice that you know now, what would it be? It would be um, the first, the first one, the first, the first, and the first one, because the most important one that a lot of people don't talk about is um, when you get to that next level and you're about to sign a contract. Okay. Read your contracts. Yeah, absolutely. You get what I mean? Like, I hate when all these artists come on the, the the social network and they be dishing their label. Listen, bro, before you even sign that paper, you were told to go over it with your lawyer. You see what I'm saying? So anybody that you should blame afterwards is your lawyer. You don't go and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blame whatever. If you got a garbage contract, that's your fault. You see what hmm. I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you would have looked through it properly, you could have said, nah, I don't want this. You could change this up and then holler back at me. Like, it could have worked 
in your favor, but you didn't take the time. A lot of people just, oh, label, oh, let me sign. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, don't rush into a deal. Like a lot of people don't understand. Like when you, when you're so eager about a deal, you really just put yourself this low. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The guys that get the deals that are successful are the guys that put their self before the label. Like they're like, nigga, we are the label. If a label comes, yeah, they're just the extra help. But for the young youth, read your contracts and have a proper lawyer, not a money hungry lawyer that would just sign anything because he sees a dollar sign. You know, have a lawyer that's for your best interest. The next thing I would say to artists is, is no matter what you do, no matter what people say, just be confident in yourself because as long as you're confident in yourself and you don't give a fuck, everybody will realize that, you know, you're so confident that they'll start being confident in you, you yeah, know? Absolutely. Nobody ain't going to be confident in you if you're not confident in yourself. And never, never limit yourself. Like, you see me, for instance, I don't limit myself to nothing. I feel like I could do everything. Okay. So don't just, just don't just say, oh, you know what, I'm good at this, so I'm going to stick to one thing. That's what ch that's what challenges are for. Challenge yourself. You're not in competition with nobody but yourself. So to be the better you, to be your better self, you got to challenge yourself and do things that you want to do. Like if you want to try to sing, try to sing. Like they, like bro, I see guys make fucking number one and they're not the best singers, but they just had it figured out that they had. You know what I mean? That, and that's yeah. the thing too. Like a lot of people. A lot of people are afraid to kind of do something because they don't know what the result will be. But the reality is, if you don't try, you never know what the what you the never is going to be. you not exactly exactly, my brother. You're you're absolutely right. You just never know. You see what I'm saying? And yeah, the only way you'll find out is if you just have that that instinct, like yo. I'm going to do whatever, you know what I mean? I'm going to do whatever I want to do, and I don't care. Like, And you have to understand, too, um, as a musician, as an artist, you are a creator. So it's your job to create. Don't just think that, oh, you got to cater to one section of listeners. Mm -hmm. You're just, how are you ever going to really branch out in life if you're just catering to, like, a couple of ears? Like, you get what I mm -hmm. mean? You want the world, if you want the world to listen to you, you got to, do multiple things because there's going to be like, cause I, I know that I, I noticed that there's certain people that tell me, yo, like girls, for instance, girls are the best. They'll be like, yeah, swag, you're, you're sick and all. Like, I like the trap music, but I like your, I like your, your, your singing songs better. Like, cause I don't really listen to trap music. There you have yeah. it. Like there's people that will like other things that you won't even like. Cause even certain songs I'll be like, ah, I always downplay. I'll be like, oh, yeah, it's all right. Be like, Are you stupid? Like, yo, this song is crazy. Yeah. And their reaction is different than mine. And I'm like, that's why I start to understand. I'm like, you know what? Even if I don't like some something, somebody else is going to like it. Even if that person doesn't like it, somebody else is going to like it. So yeah. why don't I just do everything and cater to everybody so everybody's happy? Absolutely. That's the other thing, too, right? You never know what's going to work. And if you try those different things, somebody's going to respond to it. And once you get yeah, a proper response, you go forward. And like it might not happen like overnight, never does. Might take mm -hmm. one, two, five years, but if you're gonna reach a point mm -hmm. where you're gonna see that that's what worked, and then you're gonna continue and never regret it looking back, you know. Never regret it, you know. And yeah, and it makes and when you when you think like that, it makes a lot of features easier for you. Cause even like I have I had a um scheme before I even got signed, I got a ski master slump gods feature. See yeah. what I'm saying? Like that 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 tracks hard like that that went super that went viral asap yeah you know what i'm saying that went viral asap and bro how you getting ski master slump god features when when you're independent like you know what i mean That's the same too man like having those connections you you got to be able to connect with people because once you're able to get that, that connection then opportunities are ending yep yep so i'm saying so and I, I i i went hard on that track you know what i mean um uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell 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 the, the new generation something like one thing I'll say to the youth also that I forgot to say, which is most important, is well, I said the most important thing, which is about the label, but one of the next important thing is um don't just think that okay, well, if you live in like for people in Toronto or anywhere, it doesn't matter. Don't just think you could stay in your city and blow up. You got to, you got to leave. You got to get out of there. You got to leave and, and branch off and network and, and start knowing other people and 
having people see you because yeah. when people see you, then they could actually mess with you because a lot of people, even like when you're coming up, a lot of other people that are in the industry are actually watching you, but they don't want to, they, they'll oh, probably yeah. not say nothing or go under your page because they don't see you. Now when you pop up and they get to meet you as a person and, oh, this person's cool. You're not actually messing with this music. Now I'm talking to, you know, I'm going to follow him. I'm going to support him type shit. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So it's all about building yourself outside because I had to get up and, and do certain stuff. And that's what the label seen in me too. They're like, oh, this guy's traveling. Like he's already doing things that an uh, artist is doing when they're signed. You know, I'm traveling, yeah. I'm doing shows here. Like, you see what I'm saying? I'm actually getting things done for myself. You see what I'm saying? So when a label, a label is going to want you because you can support yourself, not because you okay. can. Yeah, yeah, you know? absolutely, man. Like, they, they can only do so much once you've reached a point, right? Point, well, exactly. An interesting exactly. take is, like, for Toronto artists, do you think you can make it if you stay in the city? Or do you think, like what you said, you have to, like, move to an L.A. kind of thing? And then you can move back. You could, depending on who you are, like there's certain people, but you can make it, but in the city, but you, come on, you don't just want, you don't just want to be a Canada based artist. You know what I mean? Okay. You want to go international. So I'm saying that if you're thinking you just want to blow up in Canada, you're thinking you're settling for peanuts, realistically, you know? Because if your music's that great, why wouldn't you want the world to hear it? Absolutely. So I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's bigger too. So I'm yeah. saying? So. Yeah, cause uh, and and that that answers both questions because there's a lot of people that have that find it easier to blow in in the city, and there's people like yo, I I be dropping some fire music. How come nobody in my city is messing with it? That's because realistically, you gotta leave because people in Toronto might not be messing with it. But yo, you could go to Atlanta, LA, and then blow up there. Tory Lanez, where did he blow up? New York. When he was in New York. At first, you see what I'm saying? Then, then, um, say yes and all this. You get what I mean? That's yeah, when he's sure. like, obviously, Tory Lane's been doing his thing, but his his peak where he really reached that mark was when he when he dropped say yes. See what I'm saying? Am I? You heard that song, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So yeah, yeah that that shit hard. So realistically, you just gotta do you gotta do what you gotta do certain times. If it ain't working here. That means you got to go. And even if it is working, you still got to go because you got to branch out and people need to see. Seeing is believing, baby. You feel me? That's it. If you're talking all this, you Canadian talking all this um, motherfucking um, Benjamin Franklin bullshit, you, even see a, you, even, you don't even know about exchanging currency. You, bro, I, like, get the hell out of here. Like, nobody's going to believe your story. And you're just going to be another fake rapper um in a facade rapping about this delusional lifestyle. That's why I made Robert Borden is yeah. because I, I seen so much of these freaking Canadian artists talking about Benjamin Franklin. You never been to America and you never held uh, American money before. You, the only thing you probably seen on TV or seen somebody fucking changing it out of store or some shit. So I'm saying, but these people don't know nothing. You don't know nothing about no Benjamin Franklin. We don't even make, we got Robert Borden's. Okay. <laughs> We get like, go Google our history. And that's what I did. I wanted to teach people and be like, yo, stop rapping about Benjamin Franklin. Like, we, we count Robert Borden's. And when yeah. I dropped that, I don't care what anybody says. When I dropped Robert Borden, a lot of people started using Robert Borden's more. No cap. Yeah. And that's on everything. See what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. That's another thing, too. Like, some people try to rap about stuff that's outside, like, the immediate vision of what they live in, too, you know? So it's like... Mm -mm. It's easier to talk about and really speak on what you actually go through too, right? So some people don't. Yeah. Know, but that's the best when you do that too, because you're telling your story, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. I tell my story. I tell everything, and I I teach and educate. It's, it's it. You know, I just see what 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 certain spots were lacking in, and then I try to fill those gaps, fill in those gaps. You know. That's what's up. So one other thing I want to ask you is um, what should we expect next? Is it going to be some more rapping? Is it going to be some more pop sound, the rock like you were talking about? The Detour, the Detour, the Detour. Um, my EP, The Detour, is coming out. So I'm saying you could expect that. And what you could expect from that is a whole lot of me. That's why it's called The Detour, because okay. it's, the, it's, the, it's the road I took to get here, as you can see from 
the 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 drop tops with the um yellow beezies and the flip the narrows yeah. to the Roy Woods, the drugs and love to the heartbroke rock stars and the, the different genres. I'm giving everybody all of me. I, I'm giving trap, rap, pop, whatever. See what I'm cool. saying? This I just want people to know what type of artist I am. Like I, I don't care. I'm comfortable in my own skin. I don't like I'm street as fuck. Don't get me twitched. I'm I'm street as fuck. I'm from the streets, like I am the streets. But at the end of the day, that's not the image I want to portray. Like, you get what I mean? Like, who the hell are you indicting yourself for? I want to be more than what people look at me as. It's just another street Toronto trap rapper. Like, does that sound cool at all? Like, is that what you want to be known as? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hell no. I want to be fucking legendary. And you get what I mean? I want to be a guy that broke barriers that nobody has really broken and to do that you gotta do it all you see what i'm saying Absolutely. and that, that's it that's i'm saying so you could expect a whole lot of me for a detour um it's supposed to be dropping real soon just look out for that you see what i'm saying and if and if you ain't and if it, it doesn't come up in time which it will i'm capping <laughs> and if it doesn't come just keep watching my instagram so i'm saying there's a lot of fun stuff you see what I'm saying? I don't just rap. I cook. I chef. I do everything. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, if you want to learn a couple of things, you want to get inspired, you know what I mean? Just watch a kid on Instagram. Like, you see what I'm saying? So, come on, man. Absolutely, man. I appreciate your time. Always a pleasure. Likewise, too, man. All right. Thank you. Salute. 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 All right. Easy.